just fitting the cowling at the moment proper. So now that the engine's in, we can make the cowling sit properly around the airframe and it just fits in the shed still, which is wonderful. So we're just having to settle the, the cowling down to exactly where it needs to be around the engine and on, that, on the cowling. So we've got it all pinned now. So I'm just working on the bottom one. We just got it, I made it extra long for this exact reason. So we can settle it onto the airframe properly. So now we just got to trim it all back and turn those into anchor nuts. And um, that's it. So once the cowling's done, which, well, it is now, it's pinned. So now we can make the baffling system for the, for the engine and the intake system for the carburetor. And then um, a few other little tweaks and pieces and that's about it. Then I'll probably have to make this a little bit bigger. It's because I've settled it in slightly different to where my guesstimation was, it needs to be a bit big of a hump there. And that's fine, I figured something like that would happen. Remembering the whole thing was a pure guesstimation to start with, so I think I did pretty good. I think it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to taxi because the widest part of the whole fuselage is just here, like this area here. But because it sits with um, such a high nose angle, I'm actually looking along the ground down under this way. So it's actually missing the, the bulge there. Anyway, it'll still be a bit of a challenge and something to get used to. But I think it'll be good. Welcome to another episode of Donnie's Tips and Tricks. Working on engine controls at the moment. So we've got the carburetor and we've got a little, little lever here that we've got to connect. And that's a 316 hole for an AN3 bolt. But the control cable that we've got has an end that's bigger than that. So that's no good. What to do? Because you can't just have that flopping about like that. That's no good. So, um, in my case, I don't have another one. This isn't designed specifically for this setup. So we're just adapting what we have a la Frankenstein. So we need to make a little bush that goes in on this side and on that side. So this is how we go about that. So I don't have a lathe or anything like that. I've got a drill and files and stuff like that. So we're gonna make the tool as well as the part. Um, I wanna make it out of plastic, the bush, instead of steel. I just happen to have some here. And we've got bit of a setup here. So this is the, the size that we want, but it only needs to be a fraction of that length for either side of that, um, that bracket. Uh, so to make that, I've made, um, there's our drill bit, the 316 hole for the AN3 bolt. That's the size bush that we want, the diameter of it. And then we've made out of another old bush, um, some teeth. And that happens to just be the right size for the outside diameter of our bush. So, all I did was just grab a file and um, cut me some teeth. So the idea, this goes in here, like that. And then, this bit, it's a bit difficult to do it with one hand, bit of a challenge, I like that. Okay, so the drill bit here creates the hole for the bolt and this bit here creates the bush. And this is just a guide to keep it all center. And you end up with a bit like that. Here's one I prepared earlier. So all I've got to do is make another one of them, which is this one here is what I've drilled out already. So it's just got a bit of a dag where it's gone through the end there. So I've just got to clean that up and um, there we're good to go. So there's the two bushings installed into the end of the push um, control cable. And there we go. 
that's taken a giggle out of it. it works beautifully. I've just got to make them out now. We'll worry about that later. But that's pretty good. Simple, huh? Still laugh at the fact that I can actually fit this thing in here still. But only just. So what have we got up to? Well, um, we've got the engine cowling to fit and all the anchor nuts and all of the, um, all of the bits are actually done. So the cowl is on permanent. And now I can work out the baffling system and all that sort of stuff. Inside here, we've done the engine control cables. That bracket took a stupid amount of time to muck around with. I think it was more about the um, running of the cables, these instead of the bracket themselves. So there's carb heat there. These cables here are um, repurposed from another airframe and they're definitely overkill for what they really need to do. Um, and the challenge has been, because they're so big, um, the radiuses that I needed to do to get them over where I needed them and pointing in the right direction, they have a fairly tight radius there and makes everything tight. So there's a constant or a big battle about trying to get them in the right position and still have a smooth action. What we got there? Lots of crying, lots of swearing, lots of um, the odd drink or two, but we got there. Um, what else? I've pulled the seat out and um, the access panel to the back there because I needed access in to tidy up all these cables. So engine controls, carb heat there, there's uh, mixture and that's throttle. So the cables go along, do a loopy, come back out along the floor there. And I've just got a little bit of tidying up to do there and we're all done. Now that that's pretty well sorted, it's I can move on to another fiddly little time consuming job. And oh, it needs a polish too, well look at that, it's a bit yuck. Well, we'll just add that to the list. And um, yeah, we'll keep going. One little fiddly little job at a time. And um, we're, running, we're running out of little jobs though, we're getting closer. I have to start thinking about a shed next and to add an airport. Hmm, 